Hi guys, welcome to Be Thrifty. My name is Jasenia, and today I am participating in a useful DIY challenge hosted by Mom from Mom That's Handmade and by Michelle from Michelle's Cozy Home. And if you don't know these ladies, you have got to check them out. So I will have the link to their channels down below in my description as well as the playlist for everyone else who participates in this challenge. So when you are done watching my video and giving it a thumbs up and subscribing, please, head on over to the playlist and continue watching everyone else's work. They are amazing and very, very talented. So with that said, let's get started. Okay guys, so let me show you what you will need for this project. Here I have two cardboard boxes which were headed to the trash. I wanted three, but this is all I have on hand. You can use as many as you want for your project. I also have some uh, paint stirring sticks. These are the five gallon ones, and I got these from Walmart for I think a dollar something. Uh, you will also need some of these uh, wooden circles. These I also got from Walmart. Some ribbon paint these are the colors that I'm using some more paint this is Waverly chalk paint you will also need you will also need some stencil letters or uh, if you have a Cricut you can use a Cricut I just don't want to take mine out so I'm going to use my stencil letters some painters tape also a staple gun this is a heavy-duty staple gun so I'm not going to use this because um, this is cardboard so I don't really need a heavy-duty staple gun but um, you can use a light-duty staple gun and for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use hot glue because I don't have any staples <laughs> also my hot glue gun and a drill with a um, drill bit to make holes. I'll be making some holes to the top of my sticks to be able to hang it on the wall. So that is what I'm using this for. And that is it, so let's get started. So first you wanna cut off any pieces of the cardboard boxes that you're not gonna be using. I'm cutting off these little flaps. I don't need these. And the next thing I will do is give it a coat of primer. I'm going to use the Waverly Chalk Paint in plaster. So the design I want to do on this is more like a color block. I want to use three different colors and mark different sections on the box so I can color block them. I want to do maybe one here and I'm using colors that go with the decor that I already have Okay, so my boxes are painted and now I'm going to add the ribbon to the rim to give it a nice clean look. Just like that. So I'm going to cut it to size and hot glue it on.
Now for the corners, you want to create clean edges. So what I do here is I just fold my ribbon, my piece of ribbon, I fold it to create that clean line. And then uh, hot glue it on to the edge. Matching the same length as the one that's already there. And then I just hot glue it on. For some reason my glue stick is yellow. I don't know if it's an old glue stick or I just picked up a yellow one. I don't know, but it's coming out yellow. I hope it dries a little bit more clear. And then I just tuck it in. And hot glue that piece inside. And hot glue on the outside. So now I'm going to drill the holes that I need to be able to hang this DIY onto the wall. So I'm going to make a hole in each one. And to make sure that the holes align, I'm just going to take the one I just drilled, put it on top of this one, and mark where that hole is. Next, I'm going to paint them white. And I'm making sure to paint all visible sides so you don't see any of the wood being exposed. Okay, so now I'm going to attach my boxes to the paint sticks that I painted earlier. Now, I suggest using staples to attach these pieces together, but I do not have any staples right now, so I'm just going to use hot glue, and then later on I'm going to come in and staple these in place. And these are just going to be my mailboxes in my kitchen to sort my mail, my bills, and things like that. So that's what this is going to be used for. Nothing heavy is going to be inside these boxes. So the next thing I'm going to do is paint the little labels that are going to go on each box. And I'm going to paint them white, just like the uh, paint sticks. So I was thinking that the circles that I'm going to use for labels are a little bit too plain. They're just white and I thought of adding a pattern. And I thought a pattern would be a little bit more interesting. So I think I'm going to use this. This is just a piece of paper with a pattern on it. I got a bunch of these from Walmart. They came in a pack. So I'm going to use these to cover my circles and give them a little bit more interest. And I'm just going to use some craft glue to stick them on. And I'm using my finger to spread the glue evenly throughout the entire piece so that there are no air bubbles or gaps.
I'm gonna use a piece of tape at the end of the rope that I'm gonna use to hang my to hang my project and I'm just gonna wrap it around the tip so I can pull it through the hole a little bit easier. And then you just want to tie a knot at the end to secure the rope. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then you just cut it off. And here's how my mailbox turned out. Okay guys, that was the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe because it really does help out my channel. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So uh, I want to thank Mom and Michelle for giving us this opportunity to participate in this useful DIY challenge. And I will see you next time. Let's keep being thrifty together.